On Wednesday, June 15, the Airbus A321 XLR completed its maiden test flight. Departing from Airbus's production site at Hamburg Finkenwerder Airport, the aircraft flew for over four and a half hours, with the five-person crew testing the aircraft's flight controls, engines, and main systems, including flight envelope protections at high and low speeds. Philippe Moon, Airbus Executive Vice President Programs and Services, said, This is a major milestone for the A320 family and its customers worldwide. With the A321 XLR coming into service, airlines will be able to offer long-haul comfort on a single-aisle aircraft, thanks to its unique airspace cabin. The A321 XLR will open new routes with unbeatable economics and environmental performance. The XLR in the type designation stands for Extra Long Range, and with a range of 4,700 nautical miles, approximately 17% greater than the A321neo, it lives up to its name. You're looking at the range of the A321neo versus the A321XLR from various airports. As you can see, the possibilities for new routes are numerous. The aircraft is expected to enter service in 2024. This week saw multiple incidents involving engines shut down in flight. On Tuesday, June 14, a Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER departed Lahore, Pakistan, heading home to Doha, Qatar, performing Flight 629. During cruise at Flight Level 380, the crew reported to Iranian air traffic controllers that they had shut down the right GE-90 engine and requested to divert to Karachi. About 53 minutes after turning around, the aircraft landed on Karachi's runway 25 left. At the same time in Europe, a Volatea Airbus A319 was departing from Mykonos, bound for Naples, performing flight 1611. As the flight cruised at flight level 380 over the Strait of Otranto, the crew reported to air traffic control that their left engine, a CFM-56, had failed, prompting them to shut the engine down. The crew elected to divert to Bari, landing on runway 25 about 36 minutes after leaving cruise level. The Qatari 777 is still on the ground in Karachi. Volatea's Airbus A319 was ferried to Cagliari on Thursday, where it resumed passenger service. On June 12, a Corindon Airlines Europe Boeing 737-800 was performing Flight 2271 or Touristic 7 Romeo if you're into call signs, between Nuremberg and Parma, with an incredibly crammed 203 people on board. As the aircraft cruised at flight level 330 and approached the France-Switzerland border, cabin crew reported to the flight crew that there was an unusual odour in the cabin, similar to burning plastic. A pilot reportedly left the flight deck to investigate the smell, when the altitude warning horn sounded. The cabin was depressurizing. The pilot remaining on the flight deck issued an urgent public address announcement recalling the absent pilot, and oxygen masks were deployed as the crew began an emergency descent. The aircraft leveled upon reaching flight level 100, and continued to land at Basel's runway 15 about 38 minutes after beginning the emergency descent. Two days later, the aircraft was ferried to Brussels, after which it resumed passenger service. Thank <laughs> you.